NASA is headed back to the moon, and they are very excited about what's waiting for them there. I think we'll all be surprised by what we find. We're going to see the moon in a completely different way. Giving us that new perspective, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. It's the reason for all the excitement. And it's next on Real World. NASA's next mission to the moon, its first in almost 10 years, is the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, or LRO. And it will give us the most comprehensive look ever at the moon. One of the prime objectives of the mission is to find and identify resources on the moon that will make a sustained human existence there possible. Researchers are paying particular attention to the lunar poles. We know already that the poles of the moon are a very unique environment. Noah Petro is a postdoctoral researcher working on LRO at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. What LRO is going to help do is really tell us why those, the poles are very unique and what's actually there. We right now have just the, the subtlest taste of what we might find there. LRO is going to be the, the main course. We're going to be eating data for years that we're going to get from the spacecraft. NASA scientists think the moon's polar regions might provide the best resources to set up permanent outposts where astronauts will work and live. We might find that the lunar poles have uh, water ice at them. Uh, you know, we don't know for sure exactly what's there. There's the, the hint that there's hydrogen at the poles. It might be in the presence of water, it might be something else. We need to find out where it is and what abundance that possible water is in. So LRO has been engineered to go on a lunar fact-finding mission, paying special attention to the poles. It will travel around the moon, passing over both poles each time it orbits. As the moon rotates on its axis, LRO will eventually scan every meter of the moon's surface several times over. The hope is to find enough natural resources on the moon to minimize the need to bring them from Earth. Info gathered by LRO's instruments will provide detailed maps of the moon, pointing scientists to the best spots to gather these resources. One of LRO's instruments, the LRO camera, or LROC, will take high-res photos. LROC will be able to take images as high as 50 centimeters resolution. So you'll be able to see very, very small features, small craters, all of the spacecraft that have been left on the moon by Apollo, by the Soviets. So we'll be able to, to determine what's at the surface um, and where, again, safe places to explore are. LROC will also be able to identify resources on the moon by measuring light reflected off the surface. LROC is capable of measuring the reflected sunlight at various wavelengths. And different minerals that are found on the lunar surface reflect light differently at those wavelengths. Another instrument, the Lyman Alpha Mapping Project, or LAMP, will let scientists see in the dark. It works by using ultraviolet light from stars. LAMP will be able to look into areas of the, the poles of the moon that are permanently shadowed, that don't receive any sunlight, and by essentially looking at starlight coming in into these permanently shadowed craters, we'll be able to detect the presence of water. NASA also hopes LRO will seek out elements that could be used for the infrastructure of a lunar living community of explorers. There's the possibility that we might be able to find resources that to help us build habitats or, or, or protect whatever we bring to the surface. So all of the various instruments on LRO can be used in conjunction to essentially map out where we might find some of the other resources that would be useful for sustaining uh, astronauts on the surface. You can learn more about LRO and follow the mission at www.nasa.gov.